Hey, it's Brock here from Rock Hill Farms, and I'm pretty excited today because my new windmill's here. Now, if you've been following the channel, you know I've put a tremendous amount of time, energy, and money into renovating this pond. We did a big expansion and made it bigger over here. We have reshaped all the banks. We've widened the back dam. We cut this island. We've got a bridge installed across the island, and there are two big projects left. Number one, installing this windmill aeration system. And number two is a second bridge to go across to the far bank. Now, I think this windmill is gonna look awesome setting out on that island, but that's not really the reason I wanted it. The main purpose is that it aerates your pond, which has tremendous benefits for the overall health of the pond. It oxygenates the water, which is good for the fish, it's good for the plants, it helps keep algae growth under control. It also helps keep muck and silt and debris from settling so thick on the bottom of the pond. It keeps that stirred up and it helps keep the ecosystem of your pond balanced. So that's why it's so important to have an aeration system and that's the other purpose this windmill is going to serve. Now, I dug this expansion originally a little over a year ago. And while I was digging it, in that video, I was talking about wanting a windmill. So I've been looking at these online for a, a, a year, on and off, but I've spent a lot of time looking at them and comparing them. So why did I get this exact windmill out of all the options on the market? The number one reason is build quality. This is just a better built unit than the competitors. All of the other websites selling windmills that I can find seem to sell the exact same windmill that's manufactured by someone and sold on different websites. This is a next level quality product. So all of those other windmills are three-legged with an option to extend it to a four-leg. This is automatically a four-leg. Those other windmills are 18 gauge. This is 14 gauge. If you're familiar with metal thickness, that four gauge is a big difference in strength. And you've got something that's sticking up in the air, catching all that wind, you want it to be as strong as possible. So your actual support and your frame that holds it up is heavier built. Another big difference about the American Eagle windmills is how they harness that wind energy and distribute that down into your aeration system. So I've got the lid taken off the compressor so I can show you that difference. Let's take a look. What you've got right here are bellows made by Goodyear. I believe some of these windmills might have Firestone bellows in them, but these say Goodyear on them. You see that as that cam turns, it compresses the bellows and that pushes air out. And it's got two of these large bellows. I saw somewhere that these are actually the same bellows that are used on truck suspension. And these are, I think they last like 15 years or some crazy number like that. But I'll post all that information so you can see it for yourself just in case my memory is not exact. But every other windmill on the market, rather than a bellow here, it has a diaphragm, which is just a thin piece of rubber that flaps to create your airflow. So your tower is a higher quality, your compressor is a higher quality, and your bearings are inside of this compressor and pre-greased. They don't need greased for three years, and when they do, it's just one squirt of grease with a handheld gun. You don't really want to blow a ton of grease in there with a powered gun. I've given you two major examples of how this is a superior built unit to the competition, and there are a lot more. I could spend the next 15 minutes talking about the gauge of steel used on the propeller here and how heavy the the box is that holds it but all that's available on their website if you want to see it the other real reason that i have a meskin windmill is because of joe meskin fits the criteria of the type of person i like to deal with this product unlike the competitors is american made i think these are made in wisconsin pretty sure and Joe Meskin is a Vietnam veteran. There's a lot of information on that available online too. If you go to the Meskin Windmills website, 
you can see some video, actually a clip of Joe in Vietnam carrying out a wounded soldier. So I have tremendous amount of respect for our veterans. My grandfather was in World War II, and I've had other family members in the military. And even though I didn't serve myself, I just have tremendous amount of respect for the sacrifice that that is. So anytime I have the opportunity to support an American-made product and a veteran-owned, family-owned business, I'm going to do that. It's even easier to make that decision when you're talking about a windmill that puts out three and a half times the airflow of a diaphragm windmill. So I'm really excited to have this product. You're going to see it put up in one of the upcoming videos. If you want more information, you want to see the install video, a week from now, all of that other information is going to be in the description of this video and in the pinned comment, so you can go check it out. The last thing I want to say is once I settled on the fact that this was the windmill I wanted, I sent Joe an email and asked him if he would like to sponsor the channel. He said absolutely. He watched some of our videos. He saw that I'm also a small business owner making an American-made product and selling it direct. So we kind of had a mutual respect there. He offered to provide the windmill to me so that I can demonstrate it on my channel. I'm going to do a fair and honest review of it after I've had it up and running for a while, let you know how well it aerates the pond. And that's the only deal we have. I'm not compensated in any other way. And I'm going to tell the truth about my thoughts on it. So I appreciate you taking time to watch the video. I'll put links over here to a couple more of our videos, and I'll see you next time.